Right now, I have Dr. Shalette Stewart. Uh, Dr. Stewart is with me. Welcome to Atlanta Live. Thank you Excited so much, Dana. Thank you for having me. On. I am. You've Thank written you. a powerful book titled uh, Revelations in Business. And what I love about it, when I turn to the back, I see a powerful statement that strikes me as amazing. Business people don't fail, don't plan to fail, rather. They simply fail to follow God's plan. Now, you have to tell me what that statement means to you and what inspired you to write this book that's really for business or business operator owners, right? Absolutely. I always say revelations in business is for anyone who desires to achieve not just success, but more importantly, significance in life. Oh, wow. And so I truly believe business people don't plan to fail. They just no. fail to follow God's plan. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 9, that when we commit our works to the Lord, they will succeed. And so the impetus for revelations in, the, in business is the fact that in order for us to achieve significance in any aspect of life, yes. especially our careers and our professional okay. business endeavors, we must begin with Him, His Word as a foundation. And so that was really the impetus mm. for Revelations in Business. It's all about connecting your business plans with God's purpose and plan for your life, your profession with your purpose, your yes. career with your calling. Absolutely. I love it because so many times when you say, well, there's a business owners, and I know several when they say, well, I have to take classes on financing, classes on leadership, but you're saying so so much of it is sticking to your purpose and your passion and continuing to seek God as you would in perhaps a marriage or relationship with your child or any health matter. Seek God first when you're trying to drive that passion to allow a business to succeed, right? Absolutely. That's the foundation. And as you know, Shana, in the Western world and particularly in the United States, we tend to live our lives in silos, personal life and professional life. And I always say we don't have a personal life and a professional life. We have one life and yes. we have to make that life count. And so that was the reason I wrote Revelations in Business and the reason that God, I believe, placed it on my heart to write the book. So it really is a guidebook to show you how to connect your profession with your purpose so that what you do in business, in the workplace and in the marketplace, you're anointed to do and you have passion for. So the book includes biblical principles, okay. practical tools, and real life examples. I share my testimony yes. and other leaders in, in society as well, too. Wow. So it's a very practical, pragmatic how-to with the biblical principles. Okay. And what a beautiful message this book contains. And you are very passionate, speaking of passion and purpose, when you're talking about wanting business operators and business owners to succeed. Now, I know in the book I read that you're saying it's essential to have a business plan set forward. You know, I know individuals who have a passion for certain uh, skill sets or other things in society, but they just want to dive right into it, right? They're saying, right. this is what I'm meant to do. But Dr. Stewart, they don't always want to put it on paper. They don't always want the structure or the methodical strategy that goes behind it. Explain to our, our viewers right now at home why that's so essential to have in place to allow success to come our way. Well, I've learned uh, my background is serving in leadership roles with some wonderful companies like the Coca-Cola Company and Bell South, which is now again AT&T. Yes. And I've served in strategic planning roles with those companies. And so it's very critical to plan, but I've learned and the Holy Spirit has shown me the importance of planning prayerfully. And so the book actually lays out in a framework how to develop a strategic business plan or even a career plan, okay. but based on biblical principles. So from your mission and vision statement okay. all the way down to your marketing plan, your financial plan and exit strategy. So I'll share with you a brief example. The chapter on the divine mission and vision yes. starts out with the very practical insights, the pragmatic suggestions of how do you design and develop a clear, concise, succinct mission and vision statement okay. for your team for yes. your congregation or for your company, for your life. Wow. And then we turn to the biblical principles. What does the Word of God say about mission and yes. vision? So the book of Habakkuk says to write the vision and make it plain so that all who hear can run with it. So it's a very practical, pragmatic, along with the biblical yes. principles too. And that's critical to achieve, again, not just success, but more importantly, significance, and that yeah. you're leaving a positive, lasting legacy. Powerful. So, you know, when people hear of stories of success, you know, mm -hmm. Bill Gates or mm -hmm. Dr. Stewart, you're 
herself. You know, I think a lot of people like to say, well, it was timing. They were at the right place at the right time, mm -hmm. or they got lucky. But you're saying so much of success in business has really to do with a methodical approach to it. Not waiting for things just to happen, but knowing that God has excellency and success coming our way, but he wants us to be serious about it. Absolutely. So write down these plans. Be serious about a marketing plan and have our finances in order, correct? Absolutely. And also, Shana, to begin with his purpose for your life, his mission and vision for your life, because if you start with that as the foundation, then you can't help but to excel. There have been so many ministry, academic, and business leaders who have uh, gotten behind Revelations in Business and actually formally endorsed it. In fact, one is based here in Atlanta, um, who you're aware of, Dan Cathy, the President and Chief Operating Absolutely. Officer of Chick-fil-A, as well as a number of leaders from Coca-Cola and a number of Fortune 500 companies and even academic and ministry uh, leaders. I believe so much interest is around that fact. You need the very practical, pragmatic yes. suggestions, but you also need the Word of God as a foundation, too. Beautiful. Absolutely. You know, obviously your book is for all individuals mm -hmm. uh, that own businesses or aspire to own businesses. And I want to make it clear, this is not just for those establishing their careers, mm -hmm. but you really wrote this book as a guideline for everyone, including individuals that may have just finished schooling of some sort, high school Absolutely. or technical training or the traditional four-year institutions. Tell, uh, speak to me right now about how important it is for them to understand their purpose and passion mm -hmm. to move forward, even with a plan, if it's not right off operating a business of their own, but saying working for someone else and then eventually transitioning into starting their own business. Sure, absolutely. Revelations in business, again, is for anyone who desires significance in life. So whether you are a seasoned executive, okay. whether you are a pastor, or even just anyone in the workplace or marketplace, if you desire to go beyond just success and want to leave a positive, lasting legacy, then Revelations in business is for you. Beautiful. But one of the, the reasons I wrote Revelations in business is I believe it's so important to truly understand your purpose as an individual okay. and then pursue a profession or a business endeavor or a commercial yes. venture that helps facilitate your purpose. Okay. One of the books that inspired me was The Purpose Driven Life. But okay. after reading it, I was craving how do you take those principles and okay. apply them to the marketplace yes. and to the workplace in a very practical, pragmatic way. What does this mean for me if I'm to submit to a manager who I don't respect? Okay. Or how do I know if I'm in my position by divine assignment or by default? Okay. My own fault and it's time to move on. So those are some of the very practical challenges and insights that I address in Revelations in Business. Mm -hmm. So it's critical, especially for those people who are beginning their careers, I would encourage them to begin with their calling first. God's calling, God's purpose yes. for their lives, and then decide and, and identify a profession that will help facilitate that. Wonderful, wonderful advice for those aspiring to start their own business at some point mm -hmm. in their life. You know, Bishop T.D. Jakes often says if you're looking for your purpose, mm -hmm. figure out your passion, it will always lead to your purpose. Yes. You know, right now we have a lot of viewers at home that they know they want to be successful, you know, for different reasons. Maybe they think mm -hmm. they want the wealth behind it or the fame, or they have a passion they're sure that the world needs to be inspired by. But, you know, sometimes they're a little lost, you know, on what that message needs to look like. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they're not really sure about what their talent mm -hmm. or their true skill set is. What's your advice to those individuals that are really searching for that? They want to be successful, but they haven't figured out yet what their real talent is. Sure. Well, you know, the Bible says that we are all given gifts. So we all have innate talents and skill sets and capabilities that uh, are within us that we have to simply leverage for kingdom purposes. Okay. So I would encourage those individuals, and oftentimes we know what they are. We know what our interests are. We know what we're really passionate about. Oftentimes it's fear that yes. keeps us from pursuing them. Absolutely. And you and I both know, Shana, that the, God has not given us the spirit of no. fear. And so I would encourage those individuals to take a look at what it is that when they're immersed in, time just seems to fly by. 
or what are those uh, topics that they're the most passionate about? I've heard a, a phrase, you want to make your, your advocation your vocation. Beautiful. So what are you an advocate for? Yes. Or what are you always getting complimented for okay. that for others is very difficult or even daunting, but you, it comes quite naturally. Correct. Those are oftentimes, Shana, indicators of your gifts, your talents, yes. your natural skill sets Beautiful. and abilities. So I would encourage them to pursue. So be very fervent, very intentional and in praying to God and asking Him to reveal yes. your innate talents and skill sets. And then once He reveals it, and He will then walk in them, Beautiful. pursue them. I love it. I love the message uh, that you're sharing with us tonight on Atlanta Live, Dr. Stewart. And mm -hmm. I also love this book. Again, Thank Revelations you. in Business. It's a powerful book with such a message that is bound to inspire everyone if they think they want to be a business owner at some point or if they're okay with working for other companies. But to me, the foundations are powerful that allow success on any level, which is very Absolutely. interesting. And also, I want to say something, piggyback on what you just said, mm -hmm. that we all need to understand that your gift may not look like my gift and there's right. nothing wrong with that, no, right? No, not yes. at all. We all make up the body of Christ. We all have specific God-given, ordained ro rules, roles, and responsibilities Beautiful. that we have to honor, too. Mm. So the, the book will help you in terms of really facilitating that on a personal and professional level. And the great aspect about the content is that if you don't have a business plan or a career plan, after reading it, you will, because each chapter is devoted to a key element, too. Wow. It's been an honor speaking with you. Oh, it's Before my pleasure. Before we get out of here, what's your website to find out more information about Revelations in Business and mm. other services to learn more about about business and how to succeed. Sure. I would invite your viewers to uh, log on to revelationsinbusiness.com for more information about the book or more information about my consultancy or even speaking engagements. I travel the world speaking on revelations in business. I was just in China in March Amazing. speaking to uh, Chinese business leaders there too. So God has really blessed the platform. Yes. And I pray that it will continue to be a blessing to everyone who reads the books and shares it too. So thank you so much for having me. It's so, been a pleasure. It's oh, been an my honor. honor to speak Thank with you. you, to learn so much about what it takes to succeed, and understanding that it's all being inspired by God Absolutely. and His Word. Absolutely. Beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Stewart. Thank it you, has Shana. been an opportunity of a lifetime to speak with her about succeeding in business.